Look at this. I'm just trying to go fishing, man. Get out of the way, turkeys. We got like, I don't know, 20 deer right there. All a bunch of little does, youngins. Got a woodpecker, seen some turkeys. It's going to be a good day, folks. It's going to be a real good day. What's up, Team Dink? I just wandered through the woods and a bunch of wildlife to get to this spot right here. We're going trout fishing, baby. Yeah, I was thinking to myself, man, it's windy, it's cold today, but if I go trout fishing, at least I'm behind some trees and I don't get hit by the wind too much. So, yeah, well, here we are, you know? What are we going to fish today? I want to fish with these daggum Berkeley Gold minnows again, man. I know they're going to work. We didn't have quite the right gear the other day when I tried them. Today, I've got a different rig I want to try. I have no idea what to expect. If they don't work, I'm happy to switch to a spinner or something. All I really want to do let's catch a daggum trout enough giving yabbing let's start casting blessing let's go okay so what rig are we going to use today well last time as you recall i had too big of a jig head and it just sank way too fast so today i'm going to start with just a little bit of a leader and this is actually like a little drop shot hook for bass fishing but it's really light wire so it's going to be perfect on this light line and uh, i'm going to try it weightless just nose hooked first if i need some weight i'll throw some split shot weights above it and that'll obviously get it to dive down a little bit i have no idea what to expect i feel like the action will be good the question is will the hook sets work and and will the fish bite it in the first place? As we all know, Berkeley Gulp smells like absolute booty crack, so that's gonna be fun. Now my fingers smell like booty crack. See, look, as you can see, there's just a little prick right there and uh, it's just hooked right through the nose. Now, the sink test. I'm gonna drop it in the water right here to see how fast it sinks. Oh, that's pretty deadly right there. I can cast this really far. Oh, I got one right underneath it. <gasps> no, I pulled it away from him. I pulled so hard. I set the hook like that was a daggum 12 pound bass. What an idiot I am. Literally first cast, one followed it all the way back. I killed it. Dude just hammered it. Well, I tell you guys what, I'm obviously frustrated because yet again, I botched the hook set because I'm an insane man and I set the hook like I'm trying to drive it home on a flipping jig in the thick lily pads and it requires way more finesse than that. I need to just let them take it and let that rod absorb them. I know what my problem is, yet it's super freaking hard to change. I'm gonna change it on the next bite, I know I will. The good news is that I got a bite on the first cast and this rig obviously is going to work to get bites. Now, I just gotta make one bite and hold on and then I gotta make sure I set the hook like a normal trout fisherman. Let's do this thing. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. This might be a problem being nose hooked like this. Definitely learning as we go right now, guys. There he is. Oh, I pulled it away from him. Daggummit, it's so hard to know if they have it or not. It's a pretty big bait for, you know, brown trout in this size range. You know, even if they're that big, a lot of times they might not hold all the way onto that bait. They might just be kind of mouthing it. And it's hard to know whether they have it all the way down or not. Got to stay positive here. The good news is we're getting bites. Oh, oh, he had it in his mouth. Guys, I saw him and unfortunately they're not attacking the head. You know, one of the big things about bass is you can nose hook baits like this because they attack the head. These trout seem to be grabbing it by the body. It's very strange. I might, need a, I might need to figure something else out. Let me try something real quick. Okay, I rigged it as straight as I possibly could and I actually have the hook on the inside and it's just coming out the back. Now, yes, I did tear up my Berkeley gulp a little bit by doing so, but uh, hopefully it draws me a bite and this time hopefully I'll hook up. Today is just as much about learning and perfecting this rig as it is about catching a whole bunch of fish. Obviously, I want to catch a bunch of fish, but the more I fish this, the more I realize that it's gonna be an effective rig, but I gotta fine tune how I hook it. Oh, oh, there he is. Yes, I knew it'd work. Oh my gosh, good. Guys, nice fish, nice fish. Oh my gosh, I knew this would work. Guys, a nice one. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I knew this would work. Boom. Looky there, guys. One of the better fish I've caught recently. Oh, feels good. Look at that. I knew this little rig would work. He freaking hammered it. Look at that hook set, right in the side of the mouth. Interesting. Okay, probably like a little 15, 16 inch brown. Really nice, pretty fish. 
Well, how about that, folks? I'm pretty stoked right now. Finally caught one. I know I'm going to catch a couple more, and what's best is I'm learning a little bit more about this rig with every time I fish it. The first trip I took Berkeley Gulp out, I realized that the jig head I was planning on using was just way too heavy for the waters I fish. It's really shallow in here, and it's not flowing with enough speed or intensity to where I need to drop that down too quick. So then we start by nose hooking it today, and I thought that'd be a great idea because most bass will attack things by the face, but these trout evidently don't do that quite as much. So then I run it through and I come out the back and bam, got that guy right there. I'm pretty confident that if we rig up another one of these things, we're gonna catch a couple more fish. I don't have a ton of time to fish today, but if I can catch a couple more, then uh, that'd be extra crispy. Okay, let's get back to it. Actually, I'm super lucky I landed that fish because my line had a weak spot in it, so I just retied. I still don't think this is the ideal hook, but it's what I have on, so we're gonna use it. If I had something a little bit longer shank, it'd be easier to do this. I definitely think I will use jig heads in the future. It just depends on the water conditions. Today, I feel like weightless is my best friend. This Berkeley Gold Minnow is probably very much a similar profile to streamers and definitely has a similar um, action in the water. So I think maybe once I graduate from this, I can get to some streamer fishing and then I'll really be hooked on brown trout. Oh my Lord, he came out of the water, no. Holy crap. He came out of the freaking water to come get it. Wow, that was exhilarating. <laughs> I need to fine tune this rig for sure. fish. Yes. There we go. This one's a smaller fish, but it got a good hookup. And that, my friends, is just as important to me right now. Like, would I like to catch a donkey? Absolutely. But what I'd prefer is to keep learning about this rig and gain a little bit of confidence. And that's the hook right there. Again, it's, it's not quite ideal. Now, this one's a total dink, but you know what? We're team dink, so it kind of makes sense. All right, buddy, we're going to let you go. Heck yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Berkeley Gulp. Now I'm to the point where I'm just like rigging it through the side just to try to buy myself some time with this minnow. And it's kind of ugly, but it works. And that one, I just saw my line tense up. So I reeled down and just swept into it. And I... Oh God. <laughs> I'm sure you would have loved to see that from a side angle, but instead you got it first person. I just ate it. Mud is very slippery. I'm gonna catch one up here. I know it, I know it, I know it. I don't have a ton more time. You know, tonight is a work night. I gotta get back to work in the morning. So, I can't stay out here super late because I gotta get a good night's sleep. Oh, baby. Feels good, looks good too. Oh, baby, get him out of that crap. Oh, baby, good fish. <gasps> Could it be? Could it be another big jumbo? Oh my lord, he's so fat. 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 He's so damn fat. This guy had a meatball sub for lunch and then he decided to follow it up with a little Berkeley gulp. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. If you guys can't tell, this is an absolute chunky meatball. It's a chunky freaking meatball. Ooh, 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 I got myself a nice one. She wasn't all that long, but she was just so girthy. That was the fattest freaking brown trout I've ever caught. I definitely dunked my muck boot in the water because I was too excited and I was trying to take care of that fish. And now I have water on my socks. I also have water on my butt crack because I dipped my butt in the water. All is going well because I caught the fish. I don't care about my butt crack. I don't care about my socks. What I care about is the fact that I just landed a big juicy mama. Life is freaking good right now. Getting a little more serious here. Here's what we know. Berkeley Gold minnows work. Here's what we also know. My rig as it stands today works, but it needs a little bit of modifications to make it probably work a little bit better. I really think that Berkeley Gold minnows are a good rig to use to draw some bigger bites based on the fish we've caught today. Yeah, we cut that dink, but all the other bites I've had have been pretty solid looking fish. Overall, I'm stoked. I'm very stoked right now. I cannot wait to come back and use this stuff again. I'm gonna fish for maybe like five, 10 more minutes. I don't know if I'll catch another fish. And then I gotta go home, unfortunately, because I got work tomorrow and I wanna get a good night's sleep, get a workout in the morning, you know, get back to the routine. Regardless, let's get back to it. That fish had an absolutely insane jump. Definitely the best jump I've ever seen out of a brown trout, you know, in person. I've only got a few more minnows left. This guy's gonna have to go to the stow. Man, I rigged it up perfectly. I love brown trout, man. 
Here's one thing I'll say about the Berkeley Gulp that I really like. Watch this. I can skip it. I cannot do that with a spinner. I cannot do that with a jerk bait. Okay, so as expected, that uh, bait just sunk right down into the root system and snapped it off. It is what it is. Maybe that's a sign that it's time to go home. So that's what I'm gonna take it as, and I'm gonna go home. With that being said, this stuff works really well. This Berkeley Gold Minnows, I'm gonna have to buy some more because I really, really like these. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find me a hook that I like a little bit better. I want something that's light wire, obviously, because we're fishing for trout with light line. But in addition to that, I was thinking something with a longer shank, almost like a jig hook, just without the jig head. So just a long shank, light wire hook. I'm gonna try to find one if I find one then I try it. It works great. If it doesn't, we're just going to keep experimenting. That's one thing you can count on in this channel is that we are going to keep experimenting for multi-species with lots of different lures. That's just what I like to do. It's fun for me. I learn from it and hopefully you do too. I mean, you at least learn from the mistakes. Regardless, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great night. We'll catch you next time.